Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss about how to find the value of slope. Those who are familiar with the Bode plot, no need to continue further with this video. You can skip this. Actually, I have received a comment to explain in detail about how to find the value of slope. So here, the first thing, we should arrange the terms like this. So as we all know, the first part should be occupied by constant with individual omega term. Right. So here it is 20 by j omega. And the remaining two terms, two or three terms, whatever may be, they should be arranged in the ascending order of corner frequencies. Right. So here the first value is 0 0.25 and the next value is 0 0.33. Right. So here the thing is to find the value of slope, a constant won't contribute any slope. Right. So only these omega terms will contribute the slope and as well as change of slope. So here that is a omega term in the denominator. So omega generally contributes a slope, slope of 20 decibel per decade. Right. Since it lies in the denominator here it contributes a slope of minus 20. Am I making things clear? Omega, if the same omega lies in the numerator path, for example, here let it be 20 omega. If omega lies in the numerator, then here the slope contributed will be plus 20. Right. And the next thing is, again you see here, omega lies in denominator. So, the slope contribution is minus 20. And again here, omega lies in denominator and again the slope contribution is again minus 20. Right. Since we are having omega, it contributes a slope of this 20. What happened to omega square? For example, if we are having omega square in the numerator. So, omega square will contribute, a single omega will contribute 20 decibel. So, omega square will contribute 20 plus 20, it will contribute 40 decibel per decade. Right. Again, if the same omega, omega square lies in denominator then it contributes a slope of minus 40. Right. The same thing if it is omega cube then this contributes a slope of 60 decibel per decade and 1 by omega cube will contribute minus 60 decibel per decade. Right. So this is the way to write the slope. And the next thing is to calculate the change of slope. Right. So here the thing is you should always keep this thing in mind. That is a constant and individual omega. They won't contribute any change in slope. Okay. Always keep this thing in your mind. Right. So the next thing is to find a change of slope. And again change of slope always happens whenever there is a corner frequency. Right. Only at the place of corner frequency we will be having the change of slope. So here this minus 20 is pulled downwards. And we are moving this minus 20 to the right hand side. Right. So, minus 20 minus 20 contributes minus 40 here. Again, this minus 40 is dropped downwards and we are moving this minus 20 to this right hand side. So, this contributes a slope of again minus 60. Right. So, change of slope occurs only when corner frequencies are present. Right. We will consider another example. So, look at this table now. Right. So, here we are having only constant and there are no individual omega. So, just keep constant here as such. Right. And as usual, we have to arrange these terms depending upon the ascending order. Right. So, here you see the least value occupies the position of omega C1. And the next higher value, omega C2. And the next higher value, omega C3. Right. This is mandatory. So, after arranging these values in the table, the next step is calculation of the slope, right. So, here we are having only constant. So, a constant won't contribute any slope. So, here it is 0. And again, you see omega lies in denominator. So, this contributes a slope of minus 20. And here omega lies in the numerator. Therefore, this contributes plus 20. And again, omega occupies the denominator. Therefore, it, this contributes a slope of minus 20 here. Right. So, how to calculate the change in slope? Again, the same thing. We have to move this slope downwards and you have to move this part to the right hand side. So, 0 minus 20 gives you minus 20 here. And again, this minus 20 is pulled downwards and again, this plus 20 is moved to the right hand side. So, minus 20 plus 20 gives 0. Right. 
Now again the next thing is this 0 is dropped downwards and this minus 20 is moved to the right hand side. So 0 minus 20 contributes a slope of minus 20. Right. I hope I had made things clear. If you have any doubt further let me know in the comment section. Thank you.